Greetings everybody, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Album War. Today is July 1st, and I decided to do a battle today between two tremendously popular albums, definitely two classic albums, by two absolutely legendary bands, arguably two of the greatest rock and roll bands ever. Also from Great Britain, you probably know who I'm talking about here, right? So we're looking at, and ironically, also both released in 1969, uh, pretty much a turning point for both bands. So for one, kind of signaling almost the end of their historic career that went throughout the 60s, and as soon as like 1970 came around, they were basically done. And the other band, okay, ready to embark on a kind of new journey in life uh, with their one of their iconic members, Brian Jones, pretty much the signaling kind of the end of his tenure in the band and not long after his life as well, ushering in the Mick Taylor year. So, of course, we're talking about Abbey Road from the Beatles, the Beatles, and Let It Bleed from the Rolling Stones. I mean, you know, not a lot you can, <laughs> not more you can say than what hasn't already been said about both of these gems, classic albums, you know, both of them have pretty much top to bottom great songs. All right, a lot of memorable songs. So let's kind of take a look at each one individually, and then I'll kind of pick my favorite here. So, or, you know, Abbey Road, from that iconic cover, you know, it doesn't get much more iconic than that. Uh, an album that just kind of continued on with the string of successes that the Beatles were having throughout the decade and specifically later in the decade where they kind of grew up a bit. You know, they went from kind of like the um, kind of pop rock darlings, okay, singing a lot of those kind of bubblegum hits and stuff from earlier in their career, and they morphed into a serious rock band, okay. It still always held on to that pop songwriting craft, but they started to really experiment with a lot of different things, uh, and, you know, different rock elements and things like that. And, you know, Abbey Road is easily one of their better albums. So what do we got on here? So Come Together, doesn't get much better than that. Something, great tune. Uh, what else? Maxwell Silver Hammer. Oh, darling. Right? <laughs> what else? Octopus's Garden. What a cool song that is, right? That's such a great, fun tune. Uh, I Want You, She's So Heavy. One of my favorites on this album. Uh, Here Comes the Sun. Gorgeous tune. Gorgeous song. Because... You Never Give Me Your Money, Sun King, Mean Mr. Mustard, all right, Polythene Fam, sorry, Polythene Pam, uh, She Came In Through the Bathroom Window, Golden Slumbers, Carry That Weight, The End, I mean, those three right there, kind of hard to beat that, and Her Majesty, all right, it's just, it's all classic stuff, and this album flows really, really well. It's just, it's a real shame when you listen to like some of the Beatles uh, discography starting, you know, from like 66 or 67, or maybe even 68, the last like three years of their career. Okay, man, were they hitting on some just really, really lofty artistic highs. Just, just, it's amazing when you go back and like visit, revisit the catalog of the Beatles that those last handful of albums, man. Uh, you know, Revolver and, and Rubber Soul and Sgt. Pepper and this and, you know, Let It Be. It's like a lot of really, really great stuff there. Really, really great stuff there. So a fantastic album. Fantastic album. So on the other coin, all right, the opposite end of the corner, all right, boxing battle here, uh, Let It Bleed. Again, Brian Jones, sort of the end of his tenure with the band, um, he was becoming greatly unreliable, a lot of drug problems and things going on in his personal life was kind of taking him away from contributing much to the Stones. And they were, I think, we're just getting ready to move on, right? And before you know it, he's out of the band. And then before you know that, he's, uh, you know, lying dead in a pool, unfortunately. So, um, you know, the band's playing over there and at the big festival, open air festival in England. And uh, Brian is, you know, no more. This kind of tough time for the band and the fans, but, uh, you know, every band has to kind of turn a corner, right? And the Stones would do that in a big way uh, throughout the first half of the 70s. So, but that's the story for another time. So, so look at this album. What do we got? Uh, of course, you know, title track, Let It Bleed, right? Love in Vain. Great song. Midnight Rambler. A great tune, but even better on the live album, right? That came up shortly thereafter. Uh, Gimme Shelter. 
one of the greatest rock tunes of all time. My favorite Stone song of all time. That's just absolutely legendary. Uh, you got the silver, a great tune. Uh, what else? You can't always get what you want. Legendary song. Everybody knows that song, right? Uh, what else? Live With Me. Great tune. One of the underrated gems of this album. Uh, Monkey Man. Another favorite of mine. Love Monkey Man. What a great kind of rocking, you know, uh, uh, that's a classic example of kind of like the, the kind of hard rock style that the Stones would employ on all their albums kind of following this for the next like six, seven years. All right. And then uh, Country Honk. Okay. Great stuff. Great stuff. You got Mick Taylor appearing on, I think, two tracks on here. But all in all, this is a uh, an album, you know, based on Brian Jones's just kind of absence here. Uh, Keith Richards was forced to do a lot of the, the bulk of the guitar work on here. It's really great playing on here, both acoustic and electric. Mick sounds great. The whole band sounds great. So, you know, what, what am I thinking here? What am I thinking here? You know, it's funny. When I was first considering doing the show this morning, and I'm just kind of like, you know, thinking about both. My initial pick was going to be this because I'm a bigger Stones fan than I am a Beatles fan. I, I love both of them, but I'm a bigger Stones fan, always have been. And the more I thought about it, the more I'm thinking, man, this might be the one I lean to. But the more I thought about it, how can I really pick because I love these so much and I always listen to this more. How could I pick this over this? And I hate to say it guys, because I'm not going to do this very often on the, in this particular, in the classic album war show, it's going to be a draw today. I can't pick. I just can't do it. I can't do it. Sue me. Um, I got to go with, I got to go with a tie, a draw. All right. 114, 114 across the board. It's a dead heat. I just honestly, my gut tells me I got to go with Let It Bleed, but then the more I'm like, I'm like, oh, how can I pick against something and carry that weight in the end? And, uh oh, she's so heavy. Oh, I just, I can't do it. So again, even though I probably listen to this and have listened to this a lot more in my life, and especially, you know, because if you follow the show, you knew I was not a Stones fan at all up until probably like the early 90s. Okay, I really disliked the Stones a lot when I was younger. And the Beatles, I kind of like, I like, but I kind of always ignored because I always liked Paul McCartney and Wings better. But I started to get into both bands pretty heavily, like once like the early 90s came around and up. All right, I guess I got, I got older, right? That's what happens. So, but even though I have listened to this a lot more and really love this album, I, I just have a hard time picking this over this or this over this. I just can't do it today. Like I said, you're not, this is not going to happen much on this show, but today it's a, it's a draw. It's a dead heat. I just can't pick. Um, they're both amazing albums. They both have great songs on them. Great playing this. I mean, it doesn't get much more evenly matched than this. I know that some of you are going to be like, Oh no, Beatles will always beat the stones. Some are going to say vice versa. And that's okay. Um, I get it. I just, I love them both so dearly that I, and they're both so strong and have so many fantastic tunes. You know, you may say there's, there's one or two kind of Midland songs on here, and, and there, there is on here too, but man, the great stuff is great for a reason. And I just, I, you know, if you ask me this next week, I might, I might lean towards this or, you know, in a month from now, I may say, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, the Beatles on this one. But I, today I can't do it. I just, I really can't. I've been thinking about it all morning and I'm like, which one am I going to go? And like I said, my first instinct was this. Then I was like, but I can't vote against this. Mm -mm. You know what? Dead heat. That's it. So there's your winner, guys. There is no winner today. It's a draw. So both, they're both winners. Okay. They're both winners. So this is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we are on the mighty YouTube often, often, often. Look for more classic album wars Every day this week, hopefully. I'm going to try and fit them in as, as I can. But, of course, tomorrow's the big day. So tomorrow at 7.11 Eastern Standard Time, 4.11 Pacific Time, go to jeffyoungjams.com. I will be guesting in person in the studio with Jeff Young. Okay, Music Without Boundaries. we got a fun show prepared for all of you. We're going to be discussing our love for classic horror movies, classic monster movies, and sci-fi movies, and we're going to be spinning tunes that have lyrics that have to do with 
classic horror and monster movies, right? So uh, some favorite songs of ours from the past to the present that deal with uh, horror and monster themes, okay? We're going to be talking about a lot of the old classic horror movies we loved growing up as a kid and today and a lot of the favorite tunes that kind of tie in all that stuff. So that's coming up tomorrow night. Live Music Without Boundaries, jeffyoungjams.com. In addition, Jeff and I are going to be recording a show, Top 10 Songs. Jeff's going to be with me here on this show. We're going to be talking about our favorite 10 songs from the great 10CC. So this is all coming up tomorrow, folks. You don't want to miss any of it. So stay tuned, and we'll see you then. All right, take care. Bye-bye.